If you want me to describe iGent in one single line, I would say it is a multi-agent workforce for everyone. This new tool not only tries to solve real world problems, but it also separates out hype and fluff from reality. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, not only I am going to introduce you to this multi-agent workforce tool called as iGent, but also we are going to check it out in action. This tool is open source, but you can also avail its cloud offering and you can even install it on-prem. Before I show you the installation and we play around with it, let me try to describe what exactly is the problem this tool is trying to solve. First and foremost, it is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. This tool is best described by showing you this diagram. If you look here, this is the whole architecture where instead of having a one sequential agent which is going step by step doing only one task at a time and may be specific to one domain or one task, this tool is trying to orchestrate a whole array of agents and then it just combines their output and gives you the holistic power of AI. Agents architecture is modular. And that follows a powerful general, general purpose core capabilities combined with extensible modular worker nodes. It decouples high level planning from specialized task execution, making it easy to adapt to new domains without rebuilding the entire system. If you look at this diagram, this is pretty self explanatory. We have a task manager agent, which primarily is a system agent or a systems task planner whatever task you give to the agent first it goes to this task manager it analyzes that task decomposes it into subtask if necessary and then it generates abstract high level goals after that we have coordinator agent which assigns these subtasks to different but most suitable worker nodes and these worker nodes are the actual specialized agents. One agent could be uh, like for web search, one could be a coding one, the other one could be calling some MCP or in other words, some external API and the list goes on and on. And this is where sky is the limit. You can customize it, you can add your own worker agents and you can even customize and tweak the existing worker agents to get whatever you need to for your AI software to be doing. If I give you a real world example, let's suppose you want to have some sort of personal file assistant. So agent can act as a smart assistant on your personal or work computer. For example, if you want to uh, accomplish a big task, like help me find out what documents I need for an Australian visa application, and then search my computer for all related files like you want to have your photograph, your passport, visa, whatever. So agent is going to break down this task into subtasks like an agent searches online for the visa requirements. Another agent or worker agent scans your local folders with permission, of course, for files like your passport scan, bank statements, etc. And then another agent organizes the findings, perhaps generating a checklist of missing items. It is just agent's own autonomous nature how it goes about it in the end you get the information you asked for because agents end goal could be a pdf file or a full-blown project or whatever format you need it to be uh, giving you as an output so this is the whole uh, introduction of this agent and i think this is one good tool the good thing is that you can simply go to agent.ai and I will drop the link to it in video description. From there, you can either download it for your Windows or your Mac. It is not available for Linux at the moment, but might be in the future. But let's go with the Windows one. I'm just going to install it and then I'm going to log in with my Google account. You can even go with any of the GitHub accounts too. Also, you can get it installed locally. 
because it's an open source and integrated with olama based model i will also be covering that video soon where i will be showing you how to get it integrated with olama but for the fact of the matter is that all this function call and tool calling stuff if you're using a quantized version through olama the performance will not be the same and that is a harsh reality and lay of the land at the moment so i'm just going to continue with my google account after you get logged in, it is asking you that um, just click on next, next, there is some introduction. It will ask you to go with some of the permissions. So just keep clicking next and you can see that it is installing at the moment the first time. So let's wait. And this is the only first time. And the agent is launched. As you can see here, you can also do further steps in order to complete the system setup, like giving permissions to your local file system. So something like this, where I have enabled everything which it can access. And then you can just click on models in order to access the models. There you go. You see that I have a lot of credits available and you can have the same. It is, it offers you a very generous sort of uh, tier where you don't have to put in everything you get a lot of credits and i'm using the model type gpt4 you can also go with gemini OpenAI, anthropic coin deep seek and the list goes on and on and on even with the olama one so this is what i will be showing you later on but let's stick to this and this is what i was referring uh, you to um, that for mcp or model context protocol where you can integrate it with a lot of other mcps and you see you can also go with your own if you like so and it's a very very uh, evolving tool so this list will grow a lot okay so first up what i'm going to do i'm going to ask agent to perform this task so in this task what i'm asking you to do that agent i'm ready to turn sydney upside down tonight i want a full clubbing and drinking experience bars rooftop vibes late night dance floors the works Find me a killer three-stop crawl starting in the CBD or Oxford Street and then hitting a trendy cocktail bar and all that stuff. So all this questionable uh, life decisions which I'm taking here. And then I'm asking it to generate me a slick HTML page called Sydney Night Destroyer on my desktop with a timeline, embedded Google Maps route, drink specials, and a rate my risk meter and a lot of uh, things. Now, primarily what i'm trying to do here i'm seeing that task manager agent is going to break it down hopefully like event scrapping venue research transport html output and then the coordinator agent should be assigning role in parallel to different agents for maybe night uh, night scouting and all that stuff so let me run this you see it is starting there you go so i'm just going to go here and check it out So now it is task splitting is being done as you mentioned earlier. So coordinator agent is maybe assigning roles to some sort of venue analyst, transit agent, designer agent and all that stuff. And then it is uh, going to orchestrate everything together and I should have an HTML guide for my own personal nightlife playbook. Let's wait for it to finish. and there you go so it has created a plan and there are different agents which will be doing all of these tasks and you can see that how nicely it has really broken it down into manageable tasks so makes it really highly productive let me click on start the task so that it will start running all the tasks one by one i'll just go up to show you and it will start from the first task there you go different agents are now working and they are working in parallel and that is the beauty of it that instead of sequential one by one everything works together and then it just knits everything together and gives you the holistic response so let's wait for it and if you look at these tasks you see every task has its own subtasks so, so browser functionality is not working that is fine we can all i mean in the real world you can always connect it to um, your mcp server or you can have a fallback plan and you can even just chat with it 
and you just say continue and if you look at the bottom there are also some icons of all of these agents which are at the moment active and working you can add a new worker here too of your choice if you think that you need another agent which you think that it was unable to uh, create anyway i will now let's wait uh, i will be waiting for it to finish and then we will check out this destroyer html page and there you go it finished in no time and you can see that on the top left it has created this html page let me take you there so this is the html page it has created where it has um, collated all the information produced and curated by all the agents and then you can see that it has like very epic step by step uh, very targeted itinerary for me and because i didn't provide it any google api key so that is fine but of course in the real world we can always provide our api keys and then as i said it has created this call a friend button too and there is also some uh, risk slider if you please so really really interesting stuff i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it share your thoughts and of course a very new tool so feel free to share the feedback too please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for all the support